Hi, this is Stephanie Height beaming in from Frankfurt, Michigan. I'm going to read a couple pieces and the first piece is from a project called High Water Detours that actually is inspired by the area that I'm in right now. Uh, it's studying through somatic engagement the effects of the rising waters of Lake Michigan. Betsy Bay, work it down to the ground. Notes from a storm drain. Cigarette butts, silt, true green lawn care chemicals, winter salt melt, condoms, styrofoam coffee cup, your missing house key, undelivered letter, silver ring, Dorito snack size bag, shoelace. Confession from a ruptured sewer line. 1.1 million gallons of untreated sewage. Flush. Industrial tentacles reach into lake shallows, cement cylinders encased in woven mesh, bones of a corpse buried deep, dusted off by Anthropocene forensic team, evidence for an unsolved murder. Shoreline arthritic arbitrator between water and land. Water, give an inch. Water, a foot please. Land, objection. There is no ground. Shoreline, sustained wave motion. Water, I rise. Land, sunset beach walks, real estate values, drip sand castles, sandpipers. Water, I rise. Land, I rest at lake bottom. Water, I rise in nitrogen, phosphorus, E. coli. Lake Michigan blooms like a summer flower festival. Lake trout, yellow perch, burbot, sculpin. Brave, deep water fishies from the deep cold offer up to other schools new technology constructed from ghost nets, discarded washers, dryers, cars. Chinook, steelhead, walleye, slither beachside in land suits. Diversify climate change survival odds. Zebra mussels, round goby, alewife, hang by sewer line nirvana. Plot takeover schemes, outcompete natives, short circuit food webs. Party on this shit like it's 1999. Partial ingredient list of Lake Michigan water. PBDEs. TBBPADBPE, TBBPAAE7, tetrabromobisphenol ABIS, 2,3-dibromopilether, tetrabromobisphenol ABIS ally ether 8, triclosan, bisphenol A, short and medium chain chlorinated paraffins, alkyl phenol and alkyl phenol ethosylates, talates, Perfluorochemical surfacants, mercury, E. coli. Welcome to Pure Michigan. And this next piece was written this past week while uh, my wife Petra and I have been in self-quarantine. It is called Strip and Dip, House Party Rules in a Pandemic. Party requisite. Bathtubs filled with homebrew hand sanitizer, not just for hands. Isopropyl aloe hip essential oils from local botanist. Eucalyptus, silver fir, lavender. Hit the antimicrobial props. Each arrival, strip and dip. Nashi's dished out in individual white Dixie cups. Floral design sold out. Surfaces glitter with the spark of Clorox wipes. Slight bleach burn in the nostrils as you drink your sanitized glass of elderberry tonic. Stations of industrial-sized saran wrap hangs from freestanding curtain rods. Careful of fingernails or anything, use your imagination, that could cut the protective layer. Party score instructions. Close your eyes and touch the person on the other side. Trace outlines, hands, tongue, use any body part at your disposal. Only after getting consent. 
We are not abandoning social contracts just because Walgreens is out of toilet paper. Dance to the music, a mix of 20 second choruses conducive to hand wash required minimums. I say a little prayer for this to kill all the coronavirus germs. The tracks of my tears, but I won't touch my face to wipe them away. Like a prayer, there seems to be a lot of prayer and not much silence. School's out because it is canceled. I wish I bought more than just beans for my self-quarantine. Lose yourself in the CDC flowchart for who gets tested. Thank you and thanks to everyone who is beaming in and to ORCID for organizing.